Hello, everyone, and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington. And before we dive into today's Kiki, which is Erica Jane Girardi and Dirty Diana Jenkins, again, being exposed for this fake PR stunt, allegedly trying to say that they're giving 102K to victims. However... They're being called out by a lawyer and attorney for Tom Girardi's alleged victims, alleged victims. But before we dive in, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. Check out our description box down below and shop our love collection. So with that, you guys, let's dive right on in. So this is according to page six and reality blurb. We're going to go through the article and we're going to say exactly what the attorney said. And then we'll talk about why I agree with the attorney and everything that's going on and get our thoughts on that. But let's dive into the facts of the situation. So it says, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Diana Jenkins prepares to distribute 102 and thousand dollars to victims who sued tom girardi as attorney shares concerns that's a hard number to say because it's so random but we'll get into why it's so random and why the attorney is concerned so let's go erica jane's husband tom girardi a once prominent attorney is accused of embezzling settlement funds from his former clients the families of loved ones who lost their lives in a 2018 plane crash in September, Erica's Real Housewives of Beverly Hills castmate, Diana Jenkins, revealed her plan to donate money to these victims. Many fans believe that the donation would throw a wedge in her friendship with Erica, but the alliance remained strong and Erica ex expressed approval. This is the thing. Side note. Of course, Erica expressed approval because it was Erica's idea in the first place. Before Diana even joined the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, right? Because she joined only last season. The season before that, when everything hit the fan about Tom Girardi and his alleged fraud and everything going on, Erica said, well, if you guys are so concerned, why don't you do something about it? She has said that multiple times because she's been so arrogant. She's been so defiant. She's been like, you don't actually care about the victims. You're just trying to, you think it's cool to care about the victims and all that. She has always said, oh, if you have such a problem with it, then you donate to the victims. So this whole fake press release, this whole stunt that um, Diana pulled, you know, saying she allegedly was going to donate this money. Erica was saying that from jump. And then Diana even said it herself in the confessional that it was a dig to the other castmates who were going against Erica when it came to what was going on with the Tom Girardi case and the victims. So she said it herself. And it was also a dig to us, to any audience members, to anybody watching who obviously felt some type of way about Erica's behavior and everything going on with, with Tom Girardi and the fraud and the victims. Well, if you care so much, why don't you donate? Well, the problem is the victims were not victims of, you know, some type of natural disaster. You know, if there is a hurricane somewhere or an earthquake or a flood or a building accidentally, you know, burns down or, a, you know, something like that, then yeah, 100% humanity should come together to help and to donate and to give to the victims because it was something that happened. You know what I'm saying? The problem is, what happened to these victims was Tom Girardi's fraud. That's why it is not our responsibility to make the victims whole. It's Tom Girardi and all of his co-conspirators who profited and are the ones who actually stole from them. That's why it's their responsibility to make them whole. If somebody went and robbed a bank, they wouldn't have a GoFundMe for the community to raise funds to put money back into the bank. It doesn't make any sense. They would go to the person who robbed the bank and take that and take back the stolen money to put back in the bank. That is the difference. So Erica Jane Girardi, shut the hell up. 
Diana Jenkins, you can also shut the hell up. It's disgusting at this point. Ludicrous and disgusting. But I, I digress. Let's get back to it. Okay. So, dun 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 dun. Where were we? In an interview with Page Six, Diana shared she's getting ready to dispute to distribute over one hundred and two thousand dollars to the vic- to the victim's family. I hope I'm saying that right. One hundred and two thousand dollars. Yeah. The moment I became aware of the tragedy, I knew that I wanted to do something to help families. Diana explained. I know the pain of losing a loved one under tragic circumstances. Shut up, Diana. I think those who open their hearts and join me in this fundraising effort and hope that our efforts can provide some comfort to the family's vic- to the victim's family. The donation is made alongside her Sunella Foundation char- charity, as well as GVNG.org, which is a, fi- a 501c3 nonprofit. Robbie Tombo- Tomboski, the president of GVNG, indicated that the majority of the money is intended to help the family members of the 189 victims who lost their lives in the Indonesian plane crash. Thanks to the generosity of Diana Jenkins and those who have donated to this project, GVNG is now developing the best way to use those dollars to benefit the victims of this tragic plane crash, shared Tambuski. Diana expressed in a press release, Now that the fundraising efforts are coming to a close, I look forward to working with GVNG to put those funds to work to benefit the victims. I feel so much sympathy to those who lost the loves in this tragedy and hope that our efforts can provide some comfort to them. Shut all the way up, Diana. This, is, First of all, I'm looking at this alleged nonprofit GVNG. I'm looking at you sideways. Like, just because you're a nonprofit, just because you're a charity, doesn't mean that you are legit. There are a lot of nonprofits, there are a lot of charities that do fraudulent activities that steal from the donations. Like, the fact that they're even partnering with Diana, I'm looking at you really sideways. Also, Diana created her own charity, this Sunella charity, whatever the hell, solely for this. Why? So she can so she can keep um, a it's a tax break and B, she can also say what the fees are. Oh, these are the administrative fees. These are the whatever fees. So however much people do 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 donate, they can keep honestly all of it or part of it, depending on how, how fraudulent they're really trying to be. So let's continue. Meanwhile, attorney Jay Adelson of the Adelson PC law firm that sued Tom and Erica on behalf of the victims is sharing his concerns about Diana's plan to distribute the money in a series of tweets, calling the plan at best misguided. According to Jay, the numbers just don't add up. And that's what's on the screen. So if you can't read, don't worry. I'm going to read everything. I got you back. According to Jay, the numbers just didn't add up. Nearly 200 people died in that crash, leaving for easy math, for ease of math, let's say 1,000 surviving family members. $100,000 would mean each person would get $100. The math ain't mathing, Diana. The math ain't mathing. He added, while I believe that at Diana Jenkins, he added her. You, you go ahead, Jay. You go ahead. While I believe that at Diana Jenkins did give 100K to this charitable giving group and induced others to give 2K, she was able to use her GoFundMe charity to raise $2,000. I don't know who gave her the $2,000. I don't know what Boo Boo the Clown Fool thought it was a good idea to give her $2,000, but you know what? Do you do you with your own money, but it wouldn't be me, not me, not me, not me. But yeah, she was able to raise over the last six months, $2,000. Girl, bye. Anyway, that's as far as it has gotten. This reaffirms my initial view that Diana was looking for some publicity and was not actually interested in helping. Exactly. Exactly. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So let's keep reading um, the tweets he said. So just to reiterate. Here we go. He says, I see that at Diana Jenkins is putting out more misleading press statements. At the Emily D. Baker and I got sidetracked when she was asking me to explain why I thought Diana's fund quote fundraising was crap. Let me try to give my view of things. When Diana announced she was raising the money, I said that I would try to give her the benefit of the doubt, but her actions were at best misguided and at worst, a cynical way to use the airplane class victims in order to get a storyline on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. 
I agree. I think it was for a storyline. I think it was for good publicity because she, all of her past allegations, we all know what the allegations are with the sex and the kids and X, Y, and Z. Um, that was resurfacing. So I think she wanted to sort of bury that on Google and have this come up instead. So I think it was a, a, also her own reputation rehab and a storyline. And also she's a pick me. You know, I think she did it to be picked by Erica Jane and Lisa Renna. She's a pick me, you know, all the money in the world can, can't buy you self-esteem. And that's the saddest thing in the world, because I tell you this, if I had the money that Diana Jenkins has, or let me say, when I have the money that Diana Jenkins has, the last thing I'm going to do is put my life, my livelihood, my name, my reputation, my freedom on the line for the likes of Elisa Renna or an Erica Jane. I'm just, it just, it blows my mind. It blows my mind. But again, money cannot buy you self-esteem. But let's continue. Like we said before, the numbers just didn't add up. And we get into how, you know, if she actually gives a full 100K, which I doubt because you're literally giving through your own charity. If you're going to give the money through your own charity, why not just give it directly? What's even the point of the charity unless you're not actually giving the money, right? We, we're on to you, Diana. We get a hundred bucks. What are they going to do with a hundred bucks? I'll wait. He continues. After I made fairly gentle statements, one of Diana's PR people reached out to me telling me that I could do a joint press conference with her and thus look like a guy in the press. I declined and reiterated that Diana seemed to be doing this just for PR reasons. Yeah, that's insane. So they basically, this is what I think. I think Diana's PR team was trying to find a way to discredit him. Like, let's do a joint PR conference, right? They want to discredit him the same way they try and discredit um, Ronald Richards because he's very vocal online and on Twitter. But I don't think that discredits him. I think that's just him using every avenue he has to get the truth out there. So I think, you know, it's like, oh, let's do this. I think it was their way to try and discredit Jay. And I'm happy that he did not take the bait. Okay. So here we go. So then he, so then it goes on to say, he says, dun, 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 dun. We had a good chat in the organization. We had a good chat and the organization essentially agreed with my position. So he's having a chat with whatever organization. Doing something meaningful would be hard to pull off with only $100,000 given the difficulty of the logistics. Most survivors don't even speak English. What I believe that at Diana Jenkins did give, while I believe that at, at Diana Jenkins Diana Jenkins did give 100K to this charitable giving group and induce others to give 2K, that's as far as it has gotten. Yeah. And they're saying, you know, like we said before, this reaffirms my initial view that Diana was looking for some publicity. It was not actually interested in helping. I mean, I think so too. But I want to know what you guys think. Again, this is what we just talked about and said. So don't worry if you can't read it. I wrote it for you. But I want to know what you guys think. You know, do you think that this is now that he broke down the math and let's just say she actually really was to give all of the money? Which, again, I don't think she is. You know, I think there's a reason why she set, up, she set up her own charity and why she partnered with a certain group. You see what I'm saying? Just because you're a nonprofit doesn't mean that you're not scamming people. A lot of a lot of these so-called nonprofits are nothing but scams and shams. Um, but let's just say she does. He has a point. So the victims would get $100? How is that going to help in any meaningful way? So I want to know what you guys think. Put it down there. Do you think that the only reason why Diana is now coming out and saying that she's going to distribute the funds is because Jay Edelson has been more vocal. He won an Emily D. Baker. We've all been talking about it. More and more is coming out where he called her out and everything. And this is just another PR stunt because she got called out. I think that if Jay Edelson had not spoken publicly, I don't think that she would be saying we're now going to distribute the money. I think this is all damage control. I think it's a bunch of BS. And I don't think the victims are even going to see that $100.
and it just doesn't make any sense but i want to know what you guys think put it down below and also do you think dirty diana jenkins will be returning next season do you think that she'll be coming back as a full diamond holder as a friend of or do you think bravo finally got the hint and they're going to fire her put it down below but before you do that you know what to do go ahead and like this video subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live also be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always about a great community check out our description box down below and shop our love collection with that you guys bye welcome to sugar pills a practical guide to self-care where your host, writer, actor, and producer Candy Washington helps you live a more joyful life with a cheeky dash of pop culture news. Be sure to subscribe, leave a five-star review, and join the conversation on Instagram at Candy Washington. Let's go.